Good morning from The Nature Company. Today I'm just going to give you a quick breakdown on some of the easy to grow uh, house plants. These don't need terribly much care and grow without too much fuss. All you need to do is just do the basics as I've shown you in my previous video. Okay, we'll just go through some of the aroids. We're looking at, this is an alocasia. This is going to not necessarily be for a small apartment. This is going to get into a huge plant, but you can still enjoy it while it's, it's young. We have the Monstera Adidsodia. This is going to be beautiful anywhere. It is going to trail down, or if you're using a moss pole, you can get it to grow up beautifully. The nice little miniature Spathiphyllum. This can fit in just about any little nook or cranny of the house. It's got these most amazing shiny leaves and gets a beautiful white spathed flower on and off throughout the year. Yeah, we have a Syndapsis with all this amazing silver markings on it. These are beautifully nice flat, flat leaves. And this is going to either trail down or climb up a moss pole or a wall if you let it. So just be careful if you've got it up against walls, especially um, face brick walls. It will root itself on quickly and grow up your wall without you even realizing it. Another great one is the Hoyas. Hoyas are terribly easy to grow. Your most, the biggest problem you're going to have with them is overwatering, because they really are epiphytic. So keeping them in a soil media, you just have to really be careful that you don't overwater. Allow them to dry it almost completely before you rewater again. Begonias. He has a beautiful miniature begonia. These can be a little bit temperamental. You've just got to ensure you're getting the, the right temperatures and the correct watering. And don't overfeed your begonias. The Sansa Varia Yellow Flame. This is one of the most beautiful ones. This will give you a bright pop of color in a dark room. But also it will take full light through a window if you want to slowly acclimatize it to that. The Aglonemias. There's hundreds of different varieties of the most beautiful colors in aglonemias. Yeah, with the beautiful pink vein down the center. It's just such a stunning plant. Also terribly easy to grow. It's hardly going to give you any problems indoors. And with a huge variety of bromeliads from the miniatures to the huge, you can find one that's going to suit any area in your home and any light conditions that you have. They're such a joy. A lot of people have this problem with bromeliads, thinking they're going to uh, produce mosquitoes. This is very unlikely. For one, this is where your bromeliad is actually feeding from, is from the water in its vase. The conditions in it aren't necessarily specifically well suited to the hatching of mosquito larva. But uh, yes, occasionally you might see one or two mosquito larva in there, but invariably they die before they even hatch out into mosquitoes themselves. So this is basically a housewife's tale that's been told over and over again and it's stopping you from putting some of the most beautiful plants in your home. Yeah, we have another syndapsis with this most amazing variegation. One of the easiest to grow. It's going to grow just about anywhere. You can grow it basically straight in water if you want to. A nice little test tube with a few little cuttings looks absolutely amazing. These you can grow in your bathroom, in your bedroom, in your lounge, anywhere. And they do it extremely well. Blechnum ferns, also easy to grow indoors. Just watch out for your watering and away it will go. And also the eternal favorites, the cacti. These easy to grow indoors, preferably on a windowsill where, they, where you're going to be able to give them as much light as possible. Also, one of the main problems people have with these is through overwatering. These, you've got to let them dry out completely before you rewater. But easy to grow 
and so stunning when they get to flower. The flowers are like just about nothing else. So with some of these basics that I've shown you, you can have a jungle in your house without too much hassle. The plants are going to give you so much joy, bring that relaxed feeling into the home, take away all your stress and provide you with the essential oxygen you need because we all know you're sucking in all the carbon dioxide in the streets. If you think I've missed anything or there's other ones that you particularly like, drop them in the comments below. Please hit the subscribe button, give us the thumbs up and if you want to be notified of all our upcoming videos, press that notification bell. Bing bong! This will keep you up to date with all our latest videos. Happy growing.